Hey guys, so today I want to go over a video that I did over a year ago. Now full disclaimer, as you know, I'm an Adobe Express ambassador and as an Adobe ambassador being related to them, I get access to a certain things or at least I hear about certain products and things before they go out to the public. Now in this video, I was using the generative fill feature in photoshop beta before it was released and i was just playing around with it to see if i could make something now do anyone remember this nursery rhyme about the family that lived in a boot so i was trying to recreate that and as you can see here i started my project over in mid journey and i put in my prompt to try to create a background that fit what i was trying to recreate so from there i put my image that mid journey generated over into photoshop and remember this was photoshop beta and this was before the generative fill feature went public so while while trying to create a door, I ran into a couple difficulties. At the time, the AI behind Photoshop's generative fill didn't seem to understand what I was trying to ask for, or it just couldn't fit a door in the parameters that I was creating. So in order to create these parameters, I started off by using my lasso tool or my marquee tool. This way I was drawing on the, out, the outline of where the door should go. And see, I also didn't understand the program that much. Generative fill was pretty new. See, when you're making a generative fill or generatively filling in something you want to draw your outline with the shape of the object you're gonna ask for in mind so maybe it was the curves that I was creating maybe it was that it was too small uh, the AI also uses the surrounding image to create what you're asking for so maybe the boot in the forest it didn't understand but granted this video is over a year old and the AI has gotten a lot better I promise you if you want to check it out for yourself you can check the link down in uh, the description below that should take you over to the creative cloud where you can try out any Adobe product see if you like it there's also the website where you can use Adobe um, Firefly for free or you could use Adobe Express for free you could even use Adobe Photoshop online for free i went ahead and continued to draw these like weird parameters and perspective like curved door drawings thinking that the ai in its primitive or beginning stage would be intelligent enough to understand what i was asking for so in hindsight i think my issue in trying to create the house in the boot using Photoshop generative fill feature before it even went public back in 2023 was I wasn't drawing in the perspectives or I wasn't creating the parameter needed. I probably should have just created a basic rectangle, make it large enough type in a door and then use my Photoshop skills to skew it or change the perspective after the fact. But by drawing my lasso drawings or my marquee drawings with the curvatures, I think that's why the program was not able to give me what I wanted at that time. But again, it definitely has been updated. The AI has gotten quite better at doing what we creatives wanted to do and again you can check the link down in the description below